Having designed numerous fighter and bomber aircraft during World War I, by the 1920s, Geoffrey de Havilland had turned his attention to the burgeoning civil aviation market. In New Zealand during the 1930s, many of the early domestic airliners were de Havilland aircraft. This year, the Croydon Aircraft Company from Mandeville and Southland brought three of their biplane passenger aircraft to the show. The first of over 150 Fox Moths built flew in 1932. During the 1930s, this aircraft, ZK-80I, was operated by Bert Mercer's Air Travel New Zealand Limited on the west coast of New Zealand. Between 1943 and 1948, the aircraft was impressed into service with the RNZAF. The enclosed cabin of the Fox Moth can accommodate four passengers in relative comfort, while the pilot sits in a separate cockpit above and behind the main cabin. DH-89 Dragon Repeat was first developed in 1934 and seating six to eight passengers quickly found favour with the blossoming domestic airline industry in New Zealand. In 1939, the RNZAF impressed five aircraft of the type from Cook Strait Airways and also operated a further nine repeats in a variety of roles. After the war, at least one Dragon Repeat saw service with Air Travel New Zealand Limited, while six were transferred to the National Airways Corporation, NAC, in 1946. The remaining aircraft continued in RNZAF service until 1953, when they too went on to become civilian passenger aircraft. Finally, the rare DH-90 Dragonfly, of which only 67 models were ever built. The Dragonfly looks very similar to the DH-89, and is essentially a smaller version of the Dragon Repeat, seating only four passengers, plus the pilot. One simple way to tell this aircraft apart from the DH-89 is that the Dragonfly has unequal span wings. In other words, the Dragonfly's lower wing is not as wide as its upper wing. The Repeat, on the other hand, has equal span wings. Air Travel New Zealand used at least two Dragonflies on its West Coast services during the late 30s and early 40s. One of these aircraft was tragically lost in December 1942, when it crashed into the sea near Nelson and while the pilot survived, his four passengers perished. This was only the second fatal civilian passenger air accident in New Zealand, the first being an earlier mishap in May 1942.